Thank you for the lift, my friend. Thank you very much indeed. Ta-ta. No, the up, oh, okay. Let me just put him in a good place. Hey. Hi, friend. I'm finally in Baldur's Gate. This took a fucking while. 250 hours. <sighs> cool, 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 cool. Where do I go from here? My goodness. Uh, okay. Probably Casador, um, Murders, um, Orin. Um, those are probably like time sensitive ish. And I think Mizora wants to talk to Will on next rest, but I have too much resources to rest already uh, yet, so let's see. Well, let's fucking go! Still can't fathom that they hang folk in this city. Those gallows get more use than some temples. Every ten day, I write into the Baldur's Mouth about it, and every edition fails to mention it. Pathetic. Well, the Gazette is probably owned by Gortash, because who else? But they hang people because your fucking king or archduke, I guess, is a fucking bang follower. The bustle here takes some getting used to. <laughs> Crackling fire and a tresem for company is usually more my speed. Still, we must flow with the current we find ourselves in, however tumultuous it may be. If you've need of me, I'm glad to help. <laughs> I made it back. <laughs> I'm here. Thank the gods. Thank the gods. Baldur's Gate. You know, I never quite believed I'd actually make it back. It wasn't until we got within reach of Worms Crossing that it felt real. It's so strange. I don't remember much of it, yet I can't help feel like I know it. It feels like home. Yeah. I suppose it is. Though the chance to savor the moment might be brief, given all that still lies ahead of us. I may have to rely on your local knowledge to plug the gaps in my own mind. Hopefully I'll remember more than I expect to. Ah, the genuine smile. Oh ho! You? I know you. How delightful to meet in person. Though, you're shorter than I expected. <laughs> you know what? This is so fucking weird that... Let me check trade. Nothing interesting. Although probably a thief. Uh, I'm taking this, this is amazing. With grandiose delusions like that, you'll fit perfectly in the news business. A pleasure to meet you. And as for me, my name's Estra Sturr, journalist. I speak to the people of Baldur's Gate so our readers don't have to. She's gonna try to smear us. I've played enough RPGs to know that she's gonna try to smear us because nothing good ever comes from this. Like, never. <laughs> no campaign ever has fucking journalists didn't smother, uh, smear uh, adventurers. I work for the greatest broadsheet in this storied city. It's my job to know who is who. I imagine you'll be becoming quite familiar with it soon. You are, after all, the star of the next Baldur's Mouth Gazette. Let's see. Oh, it's not out yet. But any of the Gazetteers can sell you a copy when it's printed. It's our juiciest edition in an age, bound to get everyone talking about you. Shame no one cares enough. Oh, darling, we can't let the readers decide what the content is. We've editors for that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've really said rather too much and written rather too little. Good day. Yeah, she's going to try to 
smear us. Yeah, the journal updated. Stop the presses. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna kill her. Maybe not now, but probably at some point. Um, what the fuck are you doing, buddy? What this? Don't distract me. It's all I can do to stay balanced. Oh, blazes a rank, I think, in the Baldur's Gate army. Yes. I. Oh. <laughs> stole a purse from the evidence room. It was stupid. And I swore to Blaise Portier I'd never do it again. Ever. I have to stand on one leg until she believes me. <laughs> Pretend to put it. Come on, man. I have no idea. <laughs> if you have a problem, speak to one of the other fist. A rabid wolf organized this inventory. Not now. I'm trying to figure out what type of villain puts oranges and onions in the same box. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! And in the army stock. Wow, this must... Oh. Someone's an asshole. Well, when someone is uh, uh, convicted of treason as an absolute spy in a city controlled by Gortash, it probably means that no, this person probably knows some shit, so I need to get into the prison. Eh, uh, what? You really won't feel it, Hassan. Fucking... Great. He has like... Welcome, sir. He has 54 HP and is level 4. It has stench of death. That's a zombu. What the fuck are you? Your tools were stolen, right? No, you were mugged. Wait, I'm mixing you up with another citizen. I'm terribly sorry. I'll, I'll get back to you. Jesus, what's happening in this city? Well, I know what is happening. But come on, commander. Bray. I think interesting. I, I watched them talking when I was stealing stuff here, <laughs> and I realized that she's probably. I think this is divine light. Yes, this is a cleric of light, which is, which also explains the wisdom. It's weird though. She doesn't look like one. How many times do I need to say it? You sent word about a need. Said that I should come see you about it. Of course, madam. Let me just. Forgive me, why are you here? Is this some kind of sick joke? Do you have any idea what I've been through these past few days? My daughter Vanra, my little girl, she's missing. Okay. This stupid, useless fist said she had a lead, but she must have been stuck in dream mist or something. Madam, tell me. You said... She was... Uh, is it Tadpool? This is my first thought, that she has a Tadpool and she's a fighting? You catch the barest tendrils of magic coiled around the flaming fist. Okay. The blushing mermaid down by the docks, I told you a hundred times, why aren't you listening? You know what? If it's magic, it's still better than the Tadpool. Someone or something has tampered with her memory. What, um... What were we discussing? What is happening? I feel like I'm going mad! Nonsense, I'm fine. Madam, tell me why you're... ...here, and I will assist. God, you're right. Something's wrong with her. Can you help me? I've no family, and Vanra's father isn't around. It's a flame fist my last resort. I'm so afraid. I'm so tired. I've been looking night and day everywhere I could. You 
well? Thank you. I haven't slept to read since she disappeared. I'm terrified something has happened to her. Her name is Vanra. She's seven years old and has red hair, like me. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken. Just up by the docks. No, unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table. But there'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. <laughs> we were sober, though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes. But it was only a quick one. And of course, the front of the house, Boston Gannett was there, and the owner of the Blushing Mermaid, Captain Grizzly. Neither lifted a finger to help me look. It was awful. Hmm. Boson and Captain, so they're called from the ship ranks. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stumble in around these idiots I any longer. Can't shake feeling that Balis stole her or something. Although, s removing memory isn't their style, they don't give a shit. Give it your best shot. Okay, Mr. Zombie, the why the fuck? decay yeah. hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The smell of death. Gold first. Then you can hit me. Wisdom. Perception. Yeah, let's go. Your divine power focuses on the beggar. Revealing the magic that sustains him. This man is a corpse. A zombie. Plenty. Lots of angry people in this city. No one else to take it out on. How Go is... on. You seem like you've something <laughs> pent up. So, you having a go or not? Curiosity. Won't I kill it kill him with this fucking maze? <laughs> well it doesn't work. If you hit him, he just says oi no freebies when I obviously paid. No idea. Stormshore Tabernacle. So may it be. It's been some time since I stood before her in a place like this. Oh, it's possibly Mistress. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. It's like. Uh. Okay. 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 There is. This is, of the like main, goody gods, Terhelm, Mistra and Saloon. I still think you're a cell knight. I mean, wait, what, what, what am I saying? She, It was confirmed by Aelin that she's a cell knight. A cleric of Eilis Troy enters the tabernacle and my heart lifts with song. Hello, hey, friend. Welcome. You have come far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? Ha! That is no surprise, holy one. You have entered the Stormshore Tabernacle. Explain. Here, clerics may commune with their gods, and even hear their responses, if they are so favored. Mm. I am also granted the power to provide holy resurrection through sales of revivification scrolls. That's fucking cool. I am Vicar Humbletoes, Humble guardian of the Stormshore Tabernacle. I keep the peace in this sacred place and guide those in need. My purpose is to connect every soul with their divine patron. How could I do that if I couldn't distinguish what deities they serve? Still breathing, despite everything. Very well. I guess they found that they stole something from the temple. I 
That was funny. You see an altar. Whatever you want with this idol, I prefer we make it quick. I'm not sure I'm comfortable catching Mistress Eye, even if it is made of stone. <laughs> Trust me. It'll take a lot more than a few gold pieces and some fervent thoughts to convince Mistra to break her silence. On my account, at least. Commune with her as you see fit. I've no wish to stand between you and any inspiration she might deign to offer. Mistra, mother of all magic, is the pen of wizards and often called upon by other spellcasters as well. She's said to be a jealous goddess. Even though you do not follow her, you feel her power resonating from the statue. She is the one true spell at the heart of all spells. The weave could not be in better hands. Mistra's idol stands before you as silent as the goddess herself. You're not sure what you expected. After all, she's not deigned to speak with you for some time. If your refusal to detonate the orb did not get her attention, perhaps pursuing the crown will. But until then, it seems you are on your own. You feel the chill gaze of the moon maiden upon you. Saluna welcomes you. An inscription reads, Let all who worship the trust in the... As a moon-bathed cleric, this is your moment to bask in her lunar light and imbue your spirit with her majesty and grace. This altar isn't dedicated to a single god, but instead acts as a conduit to many. Your god is one of many, and in this place you sense a spark of its mighty divine flame. As a cleric, you may sacrifice wealth to your deity and expect to receive a boon. Uh. <laughs> Baal is marked as my god, but I'm actually the cleric of Elistre. Weird. <laughs> Balance and ambiguity. It reads, show your devotion with an offering in your god's name. Blessings may follow. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Someone put... Probably Baalite uh, came here to commune with Baal and put a fucking hand on the altar. Yeah, nice. Okay, so when the gods cast you, uh, curse you, you get a diva to attack you. If you remove the curse. Or if you die. Or get go unconscious. God, this is the first time in 200 years I've seen these streets in the sunlight. You can forget just how much color there is in the world. Hmm? Yes, of course. Obviously. Sorry, did you want something? Ah, oh, I've had a lifetime's feel of watching little men buff themselves up with grand titles. I look forward to the day we show the Archduke that his tongue is not half so silvered as he thinks. He's protected by his steel watch for now. And Orin will have her own defenses, should we choose to play the part of Gortash's bloodhounds. We cannot expect either of the Chosen to fall easily. But fall they must, if we're to have all three stones to command the brain. Still, if you see sense in making an alliance, I won't question it. I'll just look forward to the inevitable breaking Gortash spoke of. <laughs> it would be irritatingly true to form, would it not? Mm. A harper learns to doubt, to peer through every smile, question every look. Eventually, you find what it is you fear, whether it is there or not. When we cannot know, we can only trust. But then, that is exactly what a traitor in our midst would say, isn't it? This is the city proper, is it? 
I didn't expect it to be so outrageously ordinary. Is something burdening you? This is weird way of phrasing it. She never speaks like that. Chuck, you That's believe more you can like survive it. without? I received a dispatch from the Grove. Life carries on there in our absence, just as nature intended. Cool. My chosen successor, Francesca, has proven to be a wise choice. Perhaps the wisest I ever made as Archdruid. You're having doubts, aren't you? One grand victory may not be enough to absolve a host of small failures. That is where true leadership lies. Not in winning a single vast battle, but in fighting a thousand smaller ones. Making ten thousand difficult decisions. Finding balance where none seems possible. Day after day, I was all too eager to surrender my responsibilities towards the Grove. <laughs> Perhaps I was never meant to be Archdruid, to be a leader. Still though, I cannot help but wonder if there was more I could have done. Perhaps, Oakfather willing, I may yet have the chance someday. Forgive me. The Shadow Curse occupied me so entirely, and for so long, I almost missed the purpose it gave me. Now I must find a new one. The belly of the city. How many people are born, live, and die within these walls, without ever seeing the depths of nature's beauty for themselves? I shudder to think. Welcome to the Lower City. Where Baldur's Gate truly comes alive. Tribunal. So going through people's mail is always a good thing. Tribunal was mentioned by doppelgangers. Considering all the other letters were also about... Sounded like Balites, they had blood on it and everything. And the fourth letter is about sewers being... Uh, some, someone killing all the kobolds that were tasked with keeping sewers working. It's kind of obvious where the fucking code is. I'm ten years behind. They want the youth to think I'm not, you know, up with the times. 